Uh, to tell us more, please welcome that rare thing in music, an articulate, intelligent drummer. From Hall of Fame inductees Queen, please welcome Roger Taylor. Evening. All right. <laughs> it's not about me, this is about Led Zeppelin. It's a great honour, because I love Led Zeppelin. Four prodigiously talented musicians, they came together to dazzle and amaze with their own unique brand of dynamics and virtuosity. The magical combination of Jimmy Page and Robert Plant, underpinned by the best rhythm section around John Paul Jones on bass, and the best rock and roll drummer in the world, John Bonham, sadly lost in 1980. A ferocious power and attack of the combination enabled the band to turn from a juggernaut into a dragonfly in a moment. They took the US by storm, ruling the stadiums of America, and remain the most popular act there to this day. All this, but still keeping out of the mainstream in the UK by refusing to release singles or appearing on top of the pops, which ironically used a bad cover version of A Whole Lot of Love for its theme tune. In short, they wrote the book and influenced thousands of bands to come. I know, because we nicked quite a bit from them. They don't make bands like this anymore. Britain should be proud of them, true legends. The magnificent Led Zeppelin. Let's have a look. I'd like to introduce Led Zeppelin to you. Whenever you hear a Led Zeppelin song, you can totally recognize it as soon as the vocals kick in. Still never heard anyone sound like uh, Robert Plant. He had taken our own blues and twisted it six ways from Sunday. The sex god with the, the glory of the halo around his head, you know, the hair. And you had, if I may say so, the son of the devil on guitar. When Jimmy grabs hold of a riff, he makes it as powerful as possible. It's so explosive. An amazing writer and an amazing producer. I think underrated as a producer still to this day. It's just the way he produced it. It was just flawless. And don't fuck with perfection. You had this amazing complex uh, pattern going on behind them from the rhythm section. John Paul Jones, he was an amazing musician. He's so important to Led Zeppelin and so underrated as his importance in Led Zeppelin. Just the opening of bass line, uh, Dazed and Confused alone, I mean, uh, should ensure that he should never have to work again. <laughs> he was a runaway, brilliant bass player. And of course, if you put him together with John Bonham, who was the absolute most rock-solid drummer in the world. In some bands, guitars is the thing. But in Zeppelin, the drums was the main power behind the band. He was a, a machine. It's just like a hurricane. It's, it's insane. four elements together, well, they changed music. They're a band that probably escaped genres and pigeonholing because of the variety of uh, music that they put out. I don't know how I'm gonna tell you. They had a lot of very surreal Eastern sounds going on. There was like a soul and a, and a, an R&B feel. There was a sort of a mixture of all sorts of, uh, of, of stuff in there, even reggae and they took all these fantastic genres of music and put them together in a package that was just irresistible. That's the way. Oh, that's the way be. Led Zeppelin were one of the first supergroups that consisted of private planes, your limousines, your fleets of trucks to take the equipment around. It was one of the first bands that was doing huge stadium tours without any real radio support and they managed to create a fan base based on albums. The records were just so fucking great. But I remember when In Through the Outdoor was coming out and the excitement that built up before that actually happened. And then the huge letdown when John Bonham died. That was such an integral part of Led Zeppelin that there was no rebuilding that. 
That really shows that they really were a band. There was no, there was four front men, you know, in that band. He was irreplaceable, and it has been to this day. Led Zeppelin is an immovable force in music that uh, will never be forgotten. Let's put it this way. Can you imagine music without Led Zeppelin? Because I can't. As far as breaking down barriers, they're as important as the Beatles. They single-handedly invented a sound that made hard rock the way that we know it now, <laughs> you know? Well, I sort of don't trust anybody who doesn't like Led Zeppelin. <laughs> <You know? laughs> to accept the award into the UK Hall of Fame, please welcome on behalf of Led Zeppelin, Jimmy Page. Well, I must say, it's, uh, it's a real honor. Just, just having glimpsed at that old footage, you know, it's, uh, it means so much to, uh, to a lot of people and certainly to the band, you know. It was really great to have had such wonderful times. Believe it or not, we actually played in this building in the early 70s. And uh, uh, in those days, it, it, um, it, it was just a glass ceiling and it was absolutely unbelievably bad. But uh, we played well, but it sounded bad, you know. Um, there's just one thing I wanted to say for this evening, that there was another person that, that uh, really helped us in our career in, in those days. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, he's not very well in, in uh, New York at the moment. His name's Mr. Armit Erdogan, who started Atlantic Records. And anyway, thank you. This one's for you, Armit. Good night. Uh, to pay tribute to the heroes, an up-and-coming rock trio from Australia who, if you shut your eyes and listen to very carefully, sound uncannily like an up-and-coming rock trio from Australia. Uh, these guys have got people talking. They've been receiving glowing critical acclaim from all and sundry. Ladies and gentlemen, performing the Led Zeppelin classic, Communication Breakdown. Please howl in delight for the blinding Wolfmother. 